What's up everyone? Uh, I got something really cool to show you guys. I've been uh, kind of tracking this car down for a few years now and uh, finally went and flew out to Austin. Uh, met the guy that had the car and was selling it on behalf of one of his um, customers. So it's a 1990 Mercedes C126 560 SEC. And it is a Euro spec car. The car was originally built by AMG Japan, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna be digging into some of the uh, things on the car and verifying if, in fact, it does have certain modifications that would have been true to that. But uh, nevertheless, it was a uh, Euro spec car. I mean, it is a Euro spec car and uh, has a lot more power than my US spec uh, SEL. That's right over here. and. Uh, here is the car Take a look at this beautiful paint. It's a metallic Gray with a blue in it The car has 17 inch AMG OZ wheels. They are non staggered set Which is uh, kind of odd, but I Haven't seen another set, but maybe somebody just put two fronts on here for whatever reason the car is sitting uh, really low in the rear um, either somebody just put it this low I mean it does look cool but um, I think I'm gonna check the uh, SLS in the rear on the hydraulic suspension there's an arm that you could uh, adjust so you uh, I believe you lengthen it to uh, lower the car and shorten it to raise the car so I'll take a look at that it does have a AMG badge. Um, this is the, called the Heckelblad, I believe, or however you say that. Um, the AMG pre merger muffler with the tips. Uh, antenna mast is broken. I'm going to have to fix that. It does have tints on it. Interior is in uh, really nice shape. For its age uh, the wood would need to be refinished uh, some of these switches are broken overall it's still a really solid car if you're a fan of big body fences this is the car to get this was the car everybody wanted in the 80s 90s this being a 1990 this was the generation 2 car it was the last generation before they switched body styles so it's definitely the cooler one. Uh, seats are in really nice shape. Somebody redid the headliner in black. Usually it comes in a gray color, light gray, uh, vinyl type material. Dashboard is really nice, not cracked. Gauge cluster is in kilometers. Uh, it does have the wrong AMG logo, but sometimes um, I've read that AMG Japan would kind of intermix the, the logos. So if anybody knows anything about that or can say if this is original or not, let me know in the comments down below. This badge is kind of more of an embossed. I know there's replicas out there, but this seems like it, it is an original badge. Um, this shift knob it is an AMG wood shift knob, but once again, this looks like somebody glued on and is not original um, you do have a decal here on AMG one appears to be original has a little bit of wear on it um, so it also has the uh, AMG Momo steering wheel which would uh, tie into the AMG kit that it has and everything else as you can see this wood is quite sun faded so I'll need to uh, get this refinished all the wood pretty much to get it a nice dark burl like this one here uh, but every piece is a little bit different hue so I'll be looking into switching that it does have a really cool um, somewhat period uh, Alpine let me get the keys and show you guys this is a uh, I think early 2000s maybe late 90s uh, Alpine head unit 
which is bigger than the standard units. Um, it's pretty cool. Can't really have the music on for copyright purposes, but you get the idea. It has really cool speaker pods, something uh, more seen in the Japanese market. One over here too. Um, didn't have any floor mats with it, but I'll probably be getting some for this car. Uh, this center console is also found in the Gen 2s, and as you can see, it is falling apart, so that'll need to be addressed. So when I'm redoing the wood and I send it out, I'll have this um, redone as well. The visors are intact and nice. Oh, spoke too soon. Here we have a broken mounting clip. Let's put that back while we can. Back seats fold back nicely. By pressing this button here, we have the manual or the uh, first aid kit. Mercedes Benz. First aid kit goes up there, and let me go on the other side and show you guys uh, the rear sunshade. Uh, that's a rare option that the car has, but it is unfortunately uh, damaged, so I'll have to repair that. And this is missing the little rubber surround. I have to source that. Maybe my friend Bob from MB uh, W126 Midwest has the parts but as you can see back there there's a, uh, a like a rail that goes down the middle and then the sunshade slides up it so that'll be pretty cool and what's really special about these big body coupes is when you roll the windows down it's a pillarless coupe and that's just one of my favorite features in a mercedes-benz so both windows down and you have a nice pillarless coupe let me roll them down for you guys so you could get a nice look. Here's my uh, gold SCL. And all the windows work, which is nice. Heated seats work as well. So, okay, and back windows down. Look at that seatbelt presenter pops up for you when you close the door so you could put your seatbelt on and both of them work so that's nice because those are a little bit pricey but how cool does that look when you're rolling down the street tires are shot uh, needs a tune-up uh, the idles high right now so I'm gonna check the uh, IAC if it's stuck I may need to just clean it out um, and that's causing the RPMs to run at about 2,000 RPMs when in park, but when you're driving, it does idle normally. Um, other than that, I'll go through the uh, brake lines, flush the brake fluid, and uh, change the belts. I'll look over anything else that I might need. Um, I might clean the injectors with a uh, tool uh, injector cleaning tool I bought from Kent Bergma, I believe that's how you pronounce it, from the Mercedes source. Um, oh, here's another crazy feature. So you have these uh, air horns actually powered by vacuum, um, and they are Bosch. So I wonder uh, if this was something that Japan, the Japan market did. And, oh, before I forget, let me show you something really cool. Everyone's gonna have a little bit of a flashback when I turn this on. How about that? You remember that that 90s car alarm? Well, this has a Viper uh, car alarm, which was top of the line back then, and uh, it works. So I do have a keyless entry in this car, which is awesome. Yeah, so that works. Here's uh, 
the fuse box which reads in Japanese um, color code for the car 199 vent tag somebody polished the air box I do have pre-merger stickers on the valve covers but I was told that they are replica stickers um, so when I get into replacing the valve cover gaskets I'll check the cams and fingers crossed third car here uh, maybe this one will have uh, the AMG cams because it is significantly faster from the SEL that I have even though SEL is a four-door um, I could tell it has a big difference these cars did come with a limited slip diff from factory so both wheels will spin and it does peel out so uh, that tells you that the car has a uh, more uh, torque off the line so um, other things that are need to be addressed the air conditioning belt is off so either the belt snapped so, or someone cut it off because the uh, AC pump is shot um, the belts don't look too bad but just as a precaution I'll change them and I'll know that I did them and uh, I'll go ahead and change the fluids, differential fluid, brake fluid. Um, the parking brake was stuck on this car and I didn't know what was going on. I thought one of the brake calipers locked up, but I went and uh, when that was happening, I, I was pulling the park release lever here and uh, I didn't pay attention, but the actual brake pedal that you push in was not popping up. And so it was just the parking brake that was locked up. So that situation's fixed. And the brakes are really nice on this car, actually. The pads have uh, a lot of life on them. They're practically brand new, so don't have to touch that. I'm gonna have to touch up some spots on the, the paint and bodywork. So the original pre-merger AMG lip has a crack here. So I'll get that painted. I was considering maybe color matching all the chrome trim and the grill. Um, definitely doing amber markers. But let me know what you guys think as far as color matching the uh, color matching the grill, the chrome to the color of the car. Um, paint would be expensive to paint all that trim, so I don't know if anybody knows of a company that could uh, do this for me. That's located in Chicago that would match the Pearl 199 color um, in a wrap. That would be awesome because then I could just wrap all of that and uh, and the grill. So if I ever get bored of that, I could take it off. Um, so shoot me a comment if anybody knows of uh, anyone local here that could do that. Um, these wheels aren't in the best shape. Uh, they all have hairline cracks. Uh, this is the cracks that you look for when you're buying these. I mean, everybody talks about them. All these wheels besides one of them have a uh, crack on the faces and uh, you could replace the faces and I haven't heard of anybody being able to weld aluminum because those are aluminum but I'm sure there is a way to fix these. Um, you don't really need to get them fixed. I've never heard of a wheel cracking off and falling off but um, you know if you want to be on the safe side definitely something to address. Um, aside from that, I have a hole in the muffler. Um, there's some seepage from the oil pan gasket, and I'll uh, have to put it up on a lift and get a more in-depth view of it. But uh, for now, I'm gonna raise the car up and see if I can adjust those arms and possibly swap over wheels. I'll put these wheels on this car and uh, see if I could drive it. I might be rubbing in the front. I think it's already rubbing in the front. Uh, with this tire and this is a 45 and this is a 35 um, so might be a little bit of an issue but I'll see how it rides um, I'm gonna start off with checking that idle control valve which is located right over here uh, I'm gonna pop off the intake tubes these are obviously taped so I'm gonna try to replace these with ones that are not broken uh, a lot of pictures you'll see these don't have these at all and they're just sucking in hot air so there we go I just broke this one so I already need to get that well what do you know always 
some fun. Take this guy off. Uh, we gotta get a 10 millimeter, unscrew those. So I get that. Really quick here. There's my 10. This one handed, guys. Oh, wrong way. Shit. All right. Don't drop the screw. It's the name of the game. One more on this side. Pop that guy off. Mic clip is broken, guys. Time for a new mic anyway. So, I'll unclip this clip, and of course, everything is very brittle. So, those tabs are broken, of course. I need a 10 mil, which I have here. Put that down so I don't drop it. Don't think I'll need that guy anymore. There's a washer there, you don't need that. Beautiful. Nice and easy, easy does it, as they say. 30 pieces of plastic coming off of this clamp. Got the clamp out. Oh, there goes one of the tabs on the clip. Trying not to break shit here. All right, that seems to be going. Okay, as does this. It's a good sign. There we go. Safely removed. Take this guy out. Yep. Now when you shake this, you're supposed to hear it moving around and it's not. And uh, try to get it to break free. And uh, fingers crossed it does. And that way we'll save ourselves probably two, three hundred dollars I'm assuming. show you guys in here oh that is pretty gummed up Ooh, there's no way I don't know if you guys could see in there but there's no way that that would work it's gummed up oiled up so I think this will solve our problem all right so I'm taking this uh, Kano Aero coil and spraying it in there so it overflows. I'm going to let this sit for a few. And this is safe on metal, and those are metal parts in there. Um, so hopefully, it doesn't damage anything and it'll free it up. Hear that? 
could already hear it moving before it wasn't. So I think we'll be able to rescue this part. Let me get my hands clean here. I only uh, have one glove today, so I ran out of gloves. This does the trick. All right, let's get this thing back on. All right, the current situation here. Hear that? This thing is freed up, nice and clean now. You can see in there. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's fire her up. Oh yeah, I think that did it. Idle is nice and smooth. Let's take a look. It's at a thousand RPM. It should drop down once the car warms up. But yeah, it's, it's already better. Fan's not running on high speed. There it goes. Nice. Perfect. I did it, guys. Look at that. Saved myself several hundreds of dollars. So anybody has a 126 and uh, they sorted all of their problems out and they're still having issues with idle. Make sure to take a look at that guy. Oh, spoke too soon, look at that. Having some weird surges here. Interesting. That's a little bit of a different problem than I was having before. Seems like it's corrected itself though. I'm thinking that maybe one of the injectors is getting stuck um, so I think when we clean those injectors drive this thing it'll uh, kind of fix itself as this car has been sitting for for a long time so one step at a time I think it's doing a lot better already though sounds a lot better idle is better here so Keep an eye on that noise, I don't know what that is. Strange noise, all the bolts looks even, no weird smooth idle. Alright, well, let's take a look at that rear suspension. Alright guys, so I got the car jacked up. Let me show you how to raise and lower the rear SLS. Hydraulic suspension. It's that arm right there, and I've sprayed it with PB Blaster, two 10 millimeters. Uh, so you gotta hold this one, loosen this one, and then shorten this rod to raise the car. So I'll do that, and hopefully it'll work. Moment of truth, guys. Let me lower this all the way. And I think it worked. I think that's actually a perfect height. 
let's see. Well, first try, you gotta love it. Nice. Actually, I think I'm gonna try it a little bit more. Maybe I'll start the car, see what happens. Try to raise it a little bit more. Could always put it back, so not the end of the world. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. Make sure to hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll put the link down below. And I hope you enjoyed this SEC as much as I did. Uh, it's a sweet car, came out pretty nice. So uh, stay tuned for more updates on this car. I'll be working on it and uh, updating you guys as I go. So till next time.